church is something that I belong and I don't belong. And this year, church, I want to say to you that membership in a local church is very key and important to your development as a person and spiritually. So let me finish with this. To lay the foundations. Number one. That's power. Number one. Let's come to this. Church membership is about relationships. Uh, it's about a relationship. Both relationship with God and relationship with each other. It is about a commitment one to another. So we want to give you that, that option. Not to force ourselves, not to impose ourselves on you. But for us to have a meaningful relationship. With you and with one and with one another. So for example, if we as a church have to come to you because you said something or you did something, it has to be, let's start with the positive thing. You you excelled in your ministry. We would want to acknowledge that as a church. Because it is done within the, the context of the whole church. But however, what if there was something which was not godly? How could we deal with it in a trustful relationship if there was no discommitment with each other? Because you can say, who made you a leader over me? And, you know, believe me, you find such things all over. That's why people, you see them today, they are in this church. Tomorrow, they are in that church. Tomorrow next, they are in that church. The next day, they are back in that church. And they don't find this place to settle. I don't want our church to be like that. I want our church to be a place where we can be a family. Where we know that there are times where we probably have to be very hard with each other. For example, in the case of a discipline issue, but that we know that our love and commitment for one another is unshakable. Like a family. I might not agree with my kids or my wife, or she might not agree with me. Within the context of, of a family. But if we come here, you don't know that we haven't agreed about something. Why? Because it is something within our family. It is something that we are dealing as a family. It has, it has nothing to do with you. However, if we had to trust someone in this church to share a struggle that we are facing, for example, who do we go to? And you know why there are difficulties? I was talking to, to someone who told me, Ahmed, it's so difficult on marriages nowadays. I said, of course, there are no trustful relationships in this church. For example, if I was not a Filipino or an African or whatever, would you trust me to come to me 
and tell me, Pastor, I am struggling with this problem. Can you help me? Can you truly? And can I do the same thing with you? And that's because we have no commitment. What only binds us together sometimes is Sunday morning. And Sunday morning is not enough. Uh, Sunday morning fellowship is not enough to define a trustful relationship, a deeper relationship. Sunday morning is not enough. And therefore, teaching within the context of fellowship, sharing, it is absolutely important and necessary that you who say, I want to make New Life Christian Center, my church, to be committed to it. Because there is comfort in that. It gives us, it gives me, uh, certainly, let me, not even us, it gives me, as the pastor of this church, the comfort to know that I can talk to you and you will say, Pastor, I will listen. And that you can talk to me and I will listen. But if you are not a member of this church, believe me, I can choose to or I can choose not to. Because I don't know what I will say and how that will end up. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Do you know what I'm trying to tell you? Yes, okay. If you don't understand, ask me more. Because a family is not a place where you just walk in and walk out. Even if you walk out, there must be a, a system of blessing you to walk out. So this year, church, you will hear this a lot, especially in the first few months. I will want to emphasize that we belong to each other. And if we belong to each other, let us commit to each other. Let us create the environment to belong to each other. They submitted themselves, they devoted themselves to the teachings of the apostles. But we want to also be able to equip you. And so this year, teaching you will be a priority. Uh, teaching. I hope that I can be able to teach people how to preach. How do you make a sermon? Believe me, pe preaching is, an, is, an, is not only a talent, it's an art. Uh, how do I take a, a passage of a scripture? How do I get what the passage is trying to tell me? Not I tell the passage what I want to say it. I would want to teach those who are mature believers, who would want to be able to preach these tools. How do I counsel someone when the need arises? And how can I grow in the ministry to children? We have all these resources, but we cannot give it to you unless, or we cannot commit ourselves to, to you unless we know that you will commit yourself to us. That is why the book of us was very, very successful. They added to them 3,000 and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. Huh? So when we have prayer meeting, we don't want to tell everybody come to the prayer meeting or mark the register that you have to come to the prayer meeting. But at least you are saying, I have a commitment to the others to go and pray as well. Or in the case of giving, if we say, I have a responsibility towards the church in my giving as well. And believe me, when you do these things, God will bless you. He will. You know, He will bless you. Because you are committed to his work. You are committed to his ways. Shall we pray?